seven and a half. half. How do you do a half? How do you do it like this? Like this. That's the half a finger right there. Oh, is it recording right now? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Part uh, seven and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what if we hit him with this? I used to do this all the time with like girlfriends and stuff. It's like, all right, guys, so we've got good news and we've got bad news. We'll give you the good news first. Or, yeah, no, we'll give him the bad news Wait, first. Wait, you did this to your girlfriend? I would, do this, so all, I would do this all the time. Bad news, this is not part eight. We were filming in a college classroom and we started half of the scene there. We went back the next day and the whole building flooded. We tried as hard as we could to still continue filming there, but we got kicked out multiple, multiple times. Yeah. And it the got so came. bad. Yeah, the, the cops ended up coming out and they said if we showed back up, they would arrest us. Yeah, I don't want to get arrested. So, not, um, not for that. I guess we'll just have to postpone part eight until next week. But next Monday, you're getting it. And then the good news is uh, we still have content for you guys. Uh, a lot of you guys have been leaving some crazy comments in our videos. So we're going to use today to answer a lot of you guys' unanswered questions. So three days ago, we were filming a little alien scene in front of Scientology. And we get home to all our friends texting us. And they said, is this you? <laughs> Turns out we caused an amber alert. It says, uh, report of caped man with sword outside of Church of Scientology. We're not going to admit that that was us, but it wasn't not us. You couldn't even see the sword. The sword was hidden Unsheathed. underneath. Unsheathed. Yeah, the sword was hidden underneath the cape. We didn't pull out the sword. I didn't even know our friend brought a sword with them until we got home and we saw the Amber Alert. <laughs> I think the only way that they knew that that was a sword was because in part seven, he pulled out a sword. He's chasing me around with a sword, but we did not do that in front of Scientology. He didn't pull out the sword once, but they were just pissed that we had an alien costume. I just think this is their way of getting us back. But it got like 2,000 likes, yeah. 40 comments. Yeah. Who comments and likes Amber Alerts? This is the only Amber Alert on this app that has any likes or comments on it. And they're all great. Yeah, I got 2,000 likes. And every other one got like, gets like 12. Yeah, it's also awesome. comments. I wonder what's crazier. A guy with a cape and a sword or a Scientologist? That's for you to decide. Tom Cruise, is that you? <laughs> no, it was our friend Alex. Or was it? If anything, this is good news because... Scientology's finally starting to get their revenge back on us. Scientology keep coming at us. It's, it's funny. We, we enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Should we move on? Yeah, let's move on. So in episode three, we met this other guy who was also very interested in the cleanse we were doing. A lot of people in the comments section felt sorry for this guy because he's getting scammed, which he is getting scammed. Yeah, he is. A big part of one of our videos was I was going to pick him up and I was going to use my guest membership to bring him to Planet Fitness so he didn't have to spend all his money on this cleanse. We tried like four or five different days and our schedules just kind of didn't work. I went to his house one day. He slept slept in. Another day that I was supposed to pick him up, I slept in, so it was kind of on both of us. Eventually, I got kicked out of the church, which you saw in episode 7. They found my spy glasses, and they let everybody know in the church that I was a bad person. So now we're starting to post the videos. He runs across our videos and starts commenting on them. Yo, I'm the guy from that everyone's feeling sorry for. So Randy's accusing us that we cut up his conversation, none of it's a sequential, and we lied. Because, like, the last thing we want to do is take the, their words out of context. We've tried very hard to keep their words in context and show exactly what they say and what they believe. You're right. We showed it from our side, and we would like to see the other point of view because Absolutely. that's only what's fair. Oh, Randy, you have our number, so we would like to hear your point of view. If if this is something you'd be down for, maybe we could all meet up, and we could go over our episode three again, and we yeah. could have you commentate on it this time. It'll be a non-biased, uncut video, and everything we're wrong on, you can commentate over it. We want to meet up with you, man. We still... We still want to help. I got to take you to Planet Fitness too, Randy. We're still going to Planet Fitness. Okay, this one's from Christine Nelson. What up, Christine? I just saw an article where the lady's daughter, the auditor lady, her daughter left Scientology. Good she, for you. She hasn't had contact with her mother for several years now because her mom really does believe this stuff. She's from Austria and has cut ties with her family back there too. It's so sad. She hasn't talked to or seen her mom in over six years. And the first time that she's heard her voice and seen her face, was on our video when she was talking to Ben. And I remember her saying, the rest of my family isn't actually in Scientology, but my relationship's still really good with them. I talk to them every week. So what's your re relationship with your parents like? I kept in communication, continue to change. You know what you know, and you have your certainty, and you don't let anyone mess it up. Not even my parents? Okay. Okay, it just sucks because like my relationship with them, like we're super, super close, so. That, that, therefore it's important that you keep communicating, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Yeah, no disconnection or anything. Uh -huh. no, okay. no, 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 no. At the time I was just thinking like, oh, this is going to be terrible footage. And then this shows up and her daughter says, yeah, I haven't talked to my mom in six years. And it's like, 
Wow, is she lying to me. It's, it's crazy the things that they'll say just to get you to join their church. Hey, what up, Daisy Ray? Uh, she said, the fact that there are Scientology ads in this video is priceless. Scientology is running their ads on our videos and are paying us money to promote anti-Scientology content. We were pissed that we had to pay Scientology 25 bucks for their Dianetics book, but it turns out we're the real winners. They ended up paying us. Who would have known? Your face, Scientology. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, you got God, yeah. son. Who? What? What? Yeah. Next comment. Gobby, should I investigate Scientology? Gobby, absolutely. This, this comment actually gave me and Mike a little idea. If any of you guys can go into Scientology wearing spy gear and record yourself getting further in the church than I did, then me and Michael, we're offering you $100. $100. Yes, a hundred dollars right. to get further than we did. Good luck. Yeah, honestly, good luck. Spoiler alert: You're not gonna be able to use glasses because I use glasses, and they're Sorry. gonna be extremely paranoid about Sorry. glasses. So here's some other things you can use. You could use the classic iPhone and the Frocket method. You could use a spy pen, a spy binder, a spy outlet charger, a spy button, a spy water bottle, a spy portable charger, a spy fire detector. I don't know how you're gonna use that, but get creative, guys. Yeah, good luck, honestly. In a spy watch. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of options for you guys to go out and try it. We think yeah. the best way to take down Scientology is just to show the craziness that goes on inside. So if you get farther than me, uh, good job. That's, yeah. that's great. You guys could be the people that end up taking down Scientology. That could be you. But, 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 you have to remember when you're in there, you are playing by their rules. You guys are going to get upset. You're going to get mad. You're going to get aggravated. You're going to get scared. You have to stay calm and stay in character, always. There's so many comments about people saying like, I would have stood up and I would have ripped my phone back and punched this dude in the face. No, you wouldn't have, because then if you did that, your cover's blown. Stay in character, always. <laughs> but the good news, though, is it's really fun. It's free until they make you pay money. Which they will. They're definitely going to make you they're try to buy a Dianetics book. They're definitely going to make you pay money. Yeah. But it's free until at that point. Just so, lie. Yeah, just, just lie. lie. Uh, come up with a thousand excuses of why you can't pay the money. And, uh, Maybe, yeah, you should be good. Maybe not shower for four days and say you were homeless. Someone else broke into your house and they stole your PS4 for their Dianetics book. You're going through a divorce. You spend all your money on strippers. Uh, I just found out my uncle is part of the cartel and, and if I don't give him the money he needs, then the cartel's gonna kill him. I, I, I wasted all my money on Flat Earth merchandise. The rest of the episodes for Rick and Morty are coming out soon and I blew all my money on a Who membership so I can watch the rest of the season ad free. Okay, next comment. Uh, they want to use the gay story to blackmail you in the future. Look, Garmin, we actually had the same idea. It turns out that in the auditing sessions, they do use what you say to blackmail you. They'll actually create fake websites about what you said, and they'll post it online to try and, like, destroy your image. Little did Scientology know, we were one step ahead of them the entire time, because these were some of the other things that we confessed to them. Do you have any concerns in life which you would like to remedy? Yeah, so... There's a couple things. My friends and I, we, we make these YouTube videos, and I think some of them have been getting a little bit out of control. Uh, the first one that we did, we fed meat to a bunch of vegans, which I think was completely wrong. We also did another prank where we went on UC's campus, and we just tased a bunch of college students. Tased? Uh, with tasers. Like... <laughs> So we had tasers and we would go up to people and tase them as a prank. Mm. Okay. I, like I hope they make a fake website about that. The money you're paying us in ad revenue isn't enough. Yeah, they also want free promotion. Yeah, it's not enough. WW Red Girl 15. What up, Red Girl? You kind of joke that we didn't catch, and I'm I'm impressed, Red Girl. It says, Guy just said there will be no wars, no drugs. So we're gonna not have war. Five minutes later, what happens when we hundred X them? Oh man, there's gonna be a war. War up against. Hey. Hello? An enemy. It's crazy. It's wow, did he contradict himself? I'm interbulated to see. See you turn blue proves my research is correct. Apology accepted. Thank blue. you for accepting our apology, Elron Hubbard. Uh, I guess if anything came from this, the, the leader actually enjoys our videos. Yeah. Dude, I think it's safe to say that uh, LRH, Elron Hubbard, is a fan. I, I hope he is. That kind of makes my day. So Michael over here has been getting a lot of comments. Thank uh, you. Specifically, a large number of comments from uh, men that find him very attractive. Uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it, but I'm into chicks. I'm sorry. Uh, it's weird. I've never been complimented like this before. Uh, sometimes I read them, I blush, and... Babe. What are you doing? Are you... Are you... Oh, my God. I like your hey, shirt. Hey, now it's done. Because, like, no, I want to so, take your shirt Listen, off stop. Now's not a good time. Now's not... A, I'm trying to tell the audience that I'm into dude. I'm into chicks. I'm not into dudes. You're really ruining things here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm into girls. 
over the next three weeks, we're going to be releasing part eight, nine, and ten. And these three parts, it's kind of almost like a three-part movie that's all leading up to this final stunt we're going to do against Scientology. And it's going to cost a little bit of money to pull it off. So me and Michael, we started a GoFundMe. It's, it's going to be donated. freaking epic. The link is in our YouTube description. Yeah. I think this is going to be a hilarious stunt. Scientology is going to get pissed about it, which is great. Uh, anyways, every single penny that gets donated is going towards this stunt. Just know we're not keeping a single penny of it. Since a lot of you guys are probably expecting part eight to come out today, uh, we decided to come up with at least a trailer for you guys. That way it'll excite you guys for what's going to come out next week. Part eight. Ooh, part eight. In it. <laughs> oh my sick. gosh, that is oh totally my gosh. Episode 8 is going to be so sick. Blow your socks off. Oh my gosh.